it's such a beautiful story. Uh, really, in, in you know, action films like this, do you have consistent, substantive drama uh, between man and woman, um, enemy and foe? And, uh, you know, there's some bromance there between my character and the lead character, uh, Milo. So I just thought it was uh, very well written and a, a beautiful epic, one that, you know, I grew up watching you know, with the Ben-Hurs and the Spartacus. So those were the things that just resonated with me. Mount Vesuvius erupted and destroyed the whole of Pompeii. And what we found in, in real life were the bodies and the carcasses enshrined in volcanic ash. So the movie actually starts from that perspective. All of these figures enshrined in this volcanic ash, and then we take it back to how they got there. You know, and I just think that's fascinating. They had a very specific vision for the movie and part of that was physicality. You just not only had to look good, you had to be able to perform because there's some epic battle scenes and uh, you can't just trot out there, you know, with a dainty six pack and, 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 and a, you know, smooching, uh, you know, look, you, you're going to have to do a lot of these battles. And so what went into it, um, they very smartly set up a, a structure for us. You know, I had a nutritionist, um, I had a great trainer, Nuno Dusalis, and then obviously that was parlayed with uh, the stunt uh, fighting, which was really gruesome uh, by these, you know, absolutely extraordinary stuntmen. Uh, Jean Freno, um, some of you may know him from 300s. You know, these guys know their stuff and they make us look the part. 